Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. So we have a new food review out for you, uh, everyone's favorite of course, from Taco Bell. Taco Bell is nothing short of an innovator in its field. You know, if you notice kind of all the all the stuff that I do, all of the reviews that I pump out, Taco Bell is one of those places, I would say along the lines of Burger King, that just pumps out a continuous stream of new items. You know, they're always just trying something out, a release here, a release there. They're kind of just throwing everything at the wall, seeing what sticks, what doesn't. Uh, but this by far is a very, very interesting one. And a personal prediction anyway, I think that they are going to be leading a trend in the fast food industry with this newest release. With that, I bring you the Steak Rattlesnake Fries Burrito. And you might say, wow, you know, what a name. Steak Rattlesnake Fries Burrito. And I told you they are being very innovative because I think this is probably the first at least in the mainstream anyway, you know, there could be like a few mom and pop places that have already done this, but this is the first mainstream fast food dish that has actually featured the use of rattlesnake meat. And I know that sounds really weird, but they did an interesting thing with it, where I guess they figured out a way with the venom, you know, that's in the rattlesnake, to tone it down just enough that it isn't harmful or anything, but somehow they infuse it in the meat, and it's actually, it makes it really, really spicy. And I just thought that was fascinating. You know, the things that they're capable of doing at this point, that's crazy. Uh, but in general, of course, rattlesnakes, you gotta be careful with them. One bites you, you become one of them. You know, you remember The Walking Dead, that's how it all started. So, uh, you know, just remember you get bitten, that's it. Um, in all seriousness, though, there is no rattlesnake meat or uh, rattlesnake venom there. I was, I was just... Uh, what is actually on this is just steak. I don't know why they even threw the word rattlesnake in there. I was just, I was sitting here, I was dying all day. I said, I gotta, I gotta throw in the bit about the rattlesnakes. Uh, what's really on this is their famous nacho fries, steak, jalapeno sauce, jalapeno peppers, nacho cheese, all wrapped up into a burrito. It's yours for $2.99 from Taco Bell. I don't even know why they called it the rattlesnake, rattlesteak. Battlesnakes burrito. I really don't know. I guess just because it right? sounds cool. I mean, for all I know, I'm sure that I'm sure there's people in the comments right now just freaking out. I'm sure that's some sort of terminology used in the uh, southwestern cuisine world, and that people are saying, "Come on, review, bro. You didn't know about the rattlesnake, etc." Um, no, no, I, it's just interesting. Well, here it is. Here it is. Definitely has some weight to it. Can't see very much. You can see that right there. But, you know, you can't see a ton in the burrito. Uh, there it is compared to my head, uh, for, for a comparison there. You can see. There I am. You know, you can make a phone call with this, right? Go old school. All right, that's what it looks like. Again, it's all just, it's wrapped up, it's bundled up tight, just like you would be on a on a cold winter's night, right? Uh, so there it is, that's what it looks like. Now we're just gonna take a bite out of it. I mean, we know what's in it. I believe it's gonna be on the spicier side. We're just gonna see how it is, how well the steak, all that blends in together. I'm gonna try it out for you. It's the uh, steak rattlesnake fries burrito from Taco Bell. It's going in.
what do you think? We'll go we'll go with one more buy. Go for for this right here, the uh, the last bastion. Right right here. Go go right in. I gotta say, I like it. Plain and simple. I mean, if you want to end the review, let's say you got some urgent business to tend to. There it is. He likes it. You know, it's done. Uh, but I gotta say, no, I, I like it. The thing that I have come to know, no, Taco Bell for best, is a lot of the items that they release are either far better than I anticipated them to be, or they're terrible. Like I said earlier, and I mean no insult when I say this, I think their methodology is kind of, they make so many releases, they're just, you know, they're throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks, what people like, what didn't really work out the best, and they just do an exorbitant amount of trial and error. And, you know, like, like I said, there's going to be some things that work, some things that don't. This does. This works. I gotta tell you. I thought this was either gonna taste good or it's gonna be a sloppy mess. And it actually tastes good. Uh, they really got a good balance of everything here. I was worried that there was going to be too much nacho cheese and too much of the jalapeno sauce. And it was just gonna cancel everything out. And it was just gonna be like this, you know, soupy mess. But they did a good job on this. Uh, it's a very full burrito, and I like that. You know, they're actually they're kind of giving you your money's worth. The steak, it's not like you're eating little pieces of rubber or anything. You know, it does have that little bit of a chewiness to it, um, but it certainly is. It, it's fine, you know. There's just that little bit of, I would even go just as far as to say texture to it. But I'd say the best thing about this is that jalapeno sauce. Because it's, just, it's got this creaminess. It really blends in with the cheese very, very well. And it adds this spiciness. Now, nothing crazy. I wouldn't even go as far, despite, of course, having its jalapeno uh, origins, I would not go as far as to say that it is as spicy as a jalapeno pepper, but it does add this spiciness with every bite. And I would say that it's something that just supplements uh, this dish very, very well, in my opinion. Like I said, the steak is fine. They did a good amount of it in there. The nacho fries, of course, you know, the, that's a favorite of mine. There's a good amount of them too. They taste well. It's not being used really for filler. Um, there's a plane coming in, hard landing. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Maybe it will be, I doubt it though. Uh, the nacho cheese, you know, just blends in really well with the jalapeno sauce and those jalapeno peppers are not overwhelming. So like I said, in my opinion, this burrito is just really good. Uh, there's some squirrel action going on over there. Uh, the burrito is just really good. I mean, like I said, it's just a fuller burrito. It's just got this really good blend of spiciness to it. And it's just one of those things, all the ingredients just blend together well. And I think if you kind of like the nacho cheese from Taco Bell and you want a little bit of that spice added, uh, this is one of those things that just blends together well and it tastes good. Price for this, again, was $3, you know. Now, by Taco Bell standards, that could be a tiny bit pricey, but it's not all that bad. Uh, so out of 10, I'm going to be giving this a 9.1 out of 10. That's a 9.1. It's not, like I said, the greatest thing in the world, uh, but I was impressed. I was actually thoroughly impressed, uh, because at first I wasn't sure, you know, what it was going to be, was it going to be good, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, but I liked it. I thought it was a solid, a solid burrito. And, uh, you know, if I'm looking forward to trying to get a little bit of that spiciness in there, I'll get it again, because Taco Bell, they did a good job on this one. So with that said, that's my review for the uh, the Rattlesnake Meat Burrito, uh, the, steak, the Steak Rattlesnake Fries Burrito from uh, Taco Bell. That's all that I have for you. On one final note, obligatory, uh, if you want to check out my podcast, you can do so, youtube.com slash podcast. You can find it on iTunes and uh, Spotify by searching V-O-R-W. Uh, this week's show, I just talk about some current events, what's going on in the world, and then some more, uh, you know, lighthearted topics like uh, cooking and uh, coffee, all that good stuff. 
relaxing listen, and I always say, hey, even if you just use it to fall asleep to, by all means, just go all out and, and go for it. Some Perhaps some good ASMR action there. Uh, also, on one final, final note, if you want to help support this channel, the podcast, and the radio show, consider your support at patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's a wonderful community of supporters just like you, a great place to help keep all of this going. And speaking of keeping this going, I'll be seeing you again in a few days with another review, whatever it might be, who knows. Until then, take care, have a wonderful Sunday.